Hello boys and girls, it's Mrs Crowder here again today. I thought that you might like to come and join me in making a ladybird design today. I heard that you were doing something about ladybirds. I thought you might quite like to have a go at making my little friend here. Now I've been out into the garden today and there are no ladybirds at the moment. There's lots of green fly but unfortunately no ladybirds to eat them all up for me. So we're going to learn to make a ladybird using something called collage. Now collage is a way that we make things by sticking and gluing materials onto a background. And your background could be card or paper, um, it could be perhaps wallpaper, something like that. And in order to do this, of course, we need to work out what sort of materials we're going to need. So I'm going to go through the list of materials and then you'll be able to get them together and make sure you've got them before you start. So to begin with, you're probably going to need a template that looks like this. Now you don't have to use this template, you could always make your own, but as long as there's two bits for the body, a semicircle for the head and three long strips for the legs, then that's absolutely fine. But um, your teacher will have a copy of that if you'd like one. Of course you're going to need tissue or card or bits of red cut out from old cards perhaps or old bits of wallpaper, um, a black felt tip pen, some little black circles for the spots um, and any other little embellishments. I found some little black beads which I thought might be quite nice. Scissors, a glue spreader and glue or you might want to use a print stick, it just depends how many of them you've got. I quite like using PVA glue because that's quite good at sticking things together. So, okay, what do we do then? So a collage is a way of making a picture or design where you can stick different things onto your backing. Okay, and today I'm going to use tissue, but you can use old birthday cards, you can use uh, bits of card, red card, any bits and pieces that you can find. I just had a wander around my house and decided that uh, these are the bits I was going to use just there so it's a bit like that and so um, we're going to use tissue on this one but you'll get of course you can use old cards fabric wallpaper buttons to make your own design okay so this is how we're going to to make it so you can cut out your shapes from your card template or your own shapes if you've made them yourself. So you should end up with two body parts that look like that. A semicircle for the head looks like that. And then three long strips. Now you might think, well hang on, a ladybird's got six legs. Well she has, but of course we're going to end up with six because we're going to divide those into two and you'll see how that's done very shortly. So we will end up with six legs even though we've got three strips there. So first of all, the job we're going to do is to take our ladybird's body and cover it with tissue. So you can see here, that's what I did. I covered it with layers of tissue. Now again, that's where you might want to use card or bits of birthday card, bits of wallpaper, whatever it is you choose that's that's red. I know you can get orange ladybirds and yellow ladybirds, but in this case, I'm doing a red ladybird. So my technique is simply to put a bit of glue on here, spread it out a little bit, and take a piece of tissue, lay it on, and press it down. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate that again. Bit of glue, bit of tissue paper, and stick it on. And what I did, I did that all over so that I ended up with my template looking completely covered in red tissue. So what I did then was I let it dry completely because it's quite a sunny day today, so I left her out, I left my ladybird outside on the table in the garden and let, let her dry off a little bit. And so once that part's done, 
we then move on to assembling the ladybird. So what I did was, the next part was to sort out the head. So I took my black felt tip pen and just coloured in the head there. Now you can be a lot more careful about it than I'm being and actually you see of course you don't have to use black felt tip pen. You could use collage tissue in black or black pieces of wallpaper or whatever you can find that, that is a, a black colour or a dark blue colour. You can pop that on there. But this is the part for her head. And you'll see how that comes together in just a moment. Okay, so I'm not being terribly careful because I want to get this video over to you as soon as possible. So what I'm going to do is you'll see my ladybird. You can see that I have stuck her head onto the back of that piece of card. So if I turn it over actually like that, you'll see that it's an old lolly, um, an old ice cream carton. So I'm just going to use a bit of print stick for that. There we go. And pop it on just there. Okay, now of course, you see, there's the little head there. And there the head is just there as well, which you can see just here. Now of course, this ladybird is just an example. You can see what it will look like once it's put together. So once this is all completely covered in tissue, we pop the head on to give her her head there. And then the next part is to think about the legs. So what we'll do is we can turn the ladybird over and this is where we actually think about dealing with the, the legs here. Now, I took the legs and I coloured them all in black because I wanted her to have black legs. So, let's have a look. I stuck. Once I've coloured them in, of course, I... Stuck one pair of legs there. And I stuck another pair of legs going that way. You can see I've made a sort of cross that way. So Daisy, I will get there in a second. It's a bit fiddly and a bit gluey. I'm just making sure that everything's assembled reasonably well. And then I'm going to put one right across the middle. There we go. Now, of course, you're going to be doing it a lot more carefully than me. But there we go. So what we have is the front of the ladybird. Okay. And then on the back, we've got the head and we've got the legs glued on in a sort of star pattern, really. Star shape, across there and one across the middle. And then when you turn it over, it looks like that. Now, of course, you can imagine, can't you, that once she's all covered in red tissue or red card, or whatever, how nice she's going to look. And then the next part would be to stick her tummy on. So that's where the second part of the card comes in. So I'll just get a bit more glue on there, but you can use PVA glue for this, but PVA or uh, uh, print stick is absolutely fine. And there she is. All the rest. So you can see, can't you, that if I covered all that in tissue, then she would look a little bit like that. Now the next stage, of course, is to add her spots. Now you can see here very clearly that I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mine's a ten spot ladybird. 
And I guess you could see also, I've done something very careful. I've looked carefully at the middle of her tummy and I've made sure that her spots are symmetrical. It means that they look the same on both sides. So where I've got two there, if I put a mirror down the middle, that would look the same. If I put a mirror down the middle, two on that side, that would look the same. So I've tried to make sure that my ladybird is, has a symmetrical spot pattern, which they generally do. So mine's a 10 spot ladybird. Now they don't really have an L on there because ladybirds don't go around with t-shirts with an L on, but you know, I found that little L on a card and I quite liked it. So I thought well, I'm gonna pop that on to make her look a bit blingy and give her a little bit of sparkle. You don't have to do that, but I just thought it would be a bit of fun. So the next thing then to think about is how we make her legs bend upwards. So let's have a look at how we do that. So we turn her over and we take the, oh, take the legs and there we go, bend, bend them straight up in the air. So it looks like she's doing a little dance. So legs straight up in the air like that. You can see what that would look like on this one. Take a leg straight up in the air. There we go. Turn around that way. Leg straight up in the air. Okay, and then open them out. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that she's got some little knees so that her knees can bend. So I'm going to bend her knees so that she, her little feet are sticking out over the edge a little bit. So I'm bending her knees so her feet stick out a little bit. Bending her knees so her feet stick out a little bit. There we go. Bending her knees again. That side. So you can see she's beginning to get her little insect legs. And of course, being an insect, a uh, ladybird has six legs. And there she goes, that's the last one. Just there. And then finally, to give her little feet, we just bend a little, the bottom part over, just to give her her toes so she can run about and be a ladybird all over the flowers. It's a bit fiddly. And also, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. You can leave her legs flat. Um, but if you're going to make her legs flat, that's fine, because you may want to just put your ladybird flat against a wall instead of having her standing up, but you may just want to put her on display. So if her legs are like flat, then you can just put her on display, just there. And so once you've done her legs, then that's what she's going to look like. A ladybird, or a 10 spot ladybird, made with collage materials. And so we've used collage to make our ladybird using lots of found materials. And we hope you have fun. So one of the things then you need to do is choose your materials you like and get them ready. Use your template really carefully. Have fun gluing and sticking your materials to the design that you want. And you can get a copy of the template from the School Hub, but you can make your own shapes by drawing around a plate or other oval object. You can make the legs by cutting one centimetre strips of paper or card. But if you're at home doing this, check with a grown up before you use any materials that they're safe and that they are allowed because uh, it would be a shame to use something that you weren't allowed to use. And there she is, our 10 spot ladybird. So I hope you have a bit of fun making yours and don't forget, take some photographs and send them to your teacher and then we can put them on the hub. I hope you enjoy it and have a good time. <laughs>